Hello to all the viewers. Today we are going to compare several old Chinese reconstructions. I have chosen an excerpt from the book of poetry, uh, rather the four lines from the beginning of one of the odes. And today we are going to read them in no less than five different old Chinese reconstructions in order to get a feeling in which particular details are they different, in which they are all alike, and both understand the variety of thought currently existing in the field of old Chinese reconstruction and understand the details that have surely become non-controversial. Each old Chinese reconstruction from early on has to decide how to deal with the type A and B distinction. There are pairs of syllables in old Chinese, one called type A and the other type B, which are extremely similar in their pronunciation, but which have absolutely different later developments to Middle Chinese and finally to modern pronunciations. It is unclear what is the phonetic reality behind this distinction. Of course, it could be different based on dialect and on time. However, each particular reconstruction has to render that somehow, because collapsing those distinctions will create a language impossible and to connect with modern varieties of Chinese. So, we'll pay attention to this feature from now on. Here is the original text we are going to consider and classical translation. It is, a, it is in rhymed verse, lines 1 and 3 rhyme, and so do lines 2 and 4. Another feature which we are going to consider is whether the rhymes are exact. As we will see, several of the reconstructions consider that automatically, how, and uh, several assume that some level of inexact rhyming is allowed. The first reconstruction we're going to consider is by William H. Baxter from a handbook of old Chinese phonology. It expresses the distinction between types A and B by assuming a medial Y in front of the vowel in type B and none in type A. Unfortunately, this reconstruction did not uh, produce an attempt to cover every single syllable actually attested in Old Chinese or even in the received texts of the literary classics. So, some of the words will be in blue, those are not specifically reconstructed by Baxter. I will also have to choose whether to pronounce or not pronounce the sounds that Baxter marks as possible, but not compulsory. Wang wang jia hua, hua pia nian zip, xin xin jiang pia. The second reconstruction we consider is the development of the first, as reported in Old Chinese in New Reconstruction by William Baxter and Laurent Sagar, Oxford 2014. It is much more tentative than a typical reconstruction of Old Chinese and contains lots of segments which may or may not occur, put in parentheses, and also segments that must be there, but their exact identity is unsure, put in square brackets. The solution picked in this version to the problem with A and B types is consider that type A contains pharyngalized syllables and type B are ordinary or non-marked ones. This is one of the reconstructions that assumes that second and fourth lines do not rhyme exactly. Quang, 
Schip, Schreier, Schreier, Teng, Pra, Pai, Krui, Pai, Krep. The third reconstruction we consider is by Cheng Zhang Shangfang, proposed in the book of 2003. It is another of the three mainstream reconstructions and is similar to both Baxter, which we already considered, and Starostin, which we will cover later in many details. It renders type A as syllables with long vowels. I believe this idea was first proposed by Starostin in this particular form due to some unsure Sino-Tibetan comparisons. In uh, Polyblank's version, of reconstruction, the opposite held, that type B was long. This reconstruction has several elements peculiar to itself and thankfully covers a lot of old Chinese morphemes. Wang Guang Kia Kwa Kwa Prauk Nguan Lib Shin Shin this reconstruction is outlined in Starstein's book Reconstruction of the Chinese phonological system and is the last of the three mainstream reconstructions we consider here. It also renders type A as the syllables with vocalic length and type B as non-marked syllables. It is another reconstruction that thinks lines 2 and 4 not to rhyme exactly. The specific feature of this reconstruction, which I won't be able to show right now but will hopefully cover later, is that it offers intermediate reconstructions, allowing to take any syllable and bring it up to Middle Chinese. Once again, it does not cover all the words, in fact it is almost limited to the words that occur somewhere in Old Chinese in rhymes, so I had to supply the versions of missing words by analogy. The final reconstruction for today is the minimal Old Chinese of Schisler, covered in two of his books, both issued by Hawaii University in their ABC Dictionary series. Unlike all the previous options, this is actually not a reconstruction. It is an attempt to give an approximation of non-controversial Old Chinese features and, strictly saying, it is not supposed to be read. It just uses a circumflex mark to denote type A without demanding a particular reading for it. I will render type A as vocalic length, not because I specifically support this solution, but just to have something to distinguish those on sound. Wang Wang Takra Wa Pai Wang Slap Shang Sheng Teng Pa Mai Kui Msai Gap.